Hello, this is Nathaniel Moore with GuaranteedProfit.com and our focus on this video right now is going to be on optimizing your beliefs so that way you're able to reach your business goals with much less effort and a lot faster. Now in our previous video we talked about how to create a idealistic and optimistic outcome. Now, what that exor exercise was, was uh, a kind of a big vision exercise, so that way you were able to fill in a few of the blanks and you didn't get all the way to your, your biggest, most grand idea as far as your business goals were concerned and turn around and wish you would have done something different or wish you would have done it in a different way. Now, saying that, something can take place when you set big goals. So there's a few different hidden challenges um, within setting big goals, but one of them is is the difference between where your beliefs are right now and where they need to be in order to, to develop the results that you want. Now, there is a definite and definable difference between the individual that thinks one way and an individual that thinks another way. Now, an example of that would be with somebody, a business person that thinks that their primary results are going to be a reflection of their environment. Okay, it's so like somebody who says that the economy is going to determine how great of a year they have this year. Now the challenge with thinking that way is that when you put your results primarily on your external environment, then you relinquish responsibility for creating any results at all. When you res relinquish your responsibility for creating results, you actually give up control over actually being able to get any results that you want. Now, there is a flip side to that, and that's the person who knows that their environment plays a role in their, in their response that they'll get, uh, but what their main focus is how do they use that information or, in order to try new things, in order to do, different, um, to do different strategies, in order to get better results, okay? Now, our focus here right now is going to be on designing beliefs so that way they inspire us to take specific actions in our, in our workflow and so that we get a very specific result and then designing beliefs again around that result that we get in order to leverage it to its maximum potential and create a new result and then another feedback loop and a feedback loop until we create that large vision that we talked about in the previous video. Okay, so the best way to do that or a way to do that is to take the, the concept or the vision that we talked about in the previous video and ask yourself a few key questions around that. One of those questions is, how do I take what I know right now, and assuming that I can get to that, that vision, how do I, within seven steps, reach that business goal? And when you ask yourself, the reason we want to know within seven steps is because um, we want to just think in big chunks right now. In, a, in, in our next video, we're going to talk about kind of zeroing into actionable steps. But right now, we just want to think in big chunks because you don't necessarily have to know all the answers at this moment. We just want to know the general direction that we have to face, that, that we have to go, with the information that we presently have. All right. Our next step is to ask ourselves, what kind of skills do we need to develop in order to create each section or to create each part of that process in order to get to that big vision? Um, the reason this, we want to ask ourselves what skills are, are that we need to develop is obviously because the only way to fully take control over the results that we want is first to design a path and then to build the kind of characteristics or the kind of skills that can conquer each part, step within that path. Our next step is to ask ourselves what potential challenges could there be in developing those skills or developing those you know, seven steps. And the reason it's important to know the potential challenges, or at least to ask yourself and start to and start to um, start to write those down and, and be aware of them, is because you you do want to know what your potential terrain would be. Your potential um, understanding your potential challenges allows you to develop new skills and new behaviors in order to overcome them. So that way, if you do face them, you know it's it's simple as walking through them. And if it and if you don't face them, then you're you're that much stronger, anyways. So. Um, once you know what your potential challenges are um, within developing those specific skills uh, for each chunk, each chunk of that workflow, and as well as um, potential challenges in each step within that workflow, what you want to ask yourself is: understanding that I can accomplish this task, understanding that, um, what do I believe about myself that allows me to overcome? The, um, this challenge, and that challenge could be, you know, within this skill set that you're developing, or within that specific step. But you basically want to ask yourself, what do I believe about myself? What we're doing when we're asking us questions, when we ask questions about what we believe about ourselves to create a specific result, we are starting to dip into the beliefs model that we have to create in order to design the self-image 
that overcomes any challenge that's along our path in order to reach our big vision and our big goal, all right? Now, just list those out for right now, and we're going to come back to those later. Because in our next video, what we're going to talk about is how to chunk down our business goals in a way that turns each step into an actionable and predictable result, okay? So I hope you are able to use all the value in this video. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them here at guaranteedprofit.com. And other than that, I do look forward to connecting with you, and I hope you have a great day.